Hey guys, welcome back to another Thunder Bytronics video. I know I haven't posted a long form video in a while, but I'm working on posting more. In this video, I'll be attempting to swap the housing of this iPhone 12 mini. As you can see, it has been cracked. Now you can actually replace the glass on the back, but that is very hard without a specialized laser machine. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I will start off by removing the two pentalope screws located at the bottom of the device. Then I can put the phone on a heating plate to soften the adhesive around the screen. Then I will use my suction cup tool to lift up on the screen making a big enough gap for my pry tool to fit in. Unfortunately, during this process I made a fatal mistake. I misjudged how thin the display is and was a little too aggressive with prying. I accidentally cracked the screen while trying to remove it. Fortunately, I have a spare OEM screen on hand but it pays to be extra careful. Moving on, I can unscrew the bracket covering the screen and battery connectors. Then I can go ahead and disconnect the screen and battery. Moving up to the top of the phone, I can unscrew the five screws holding the bracket covering the ear speaker connector. With the metal plate out of the way, I can disconnect the connector. At the bottom of the phone, I will remove the four Phillips screws holding the loudspeaker in place. Then it can easily be removed and set aside. Next, I will remove the screws holding down the Taptic engine. Then it can be disconnected and gently removed. Moving up to the top of the phone, I can remove the rear-facing camera. Now I will go ahead and carefully remove the front-facing camera assembly. Now I will remove the SIM card tray as it will prevent me from removing the logic board. Now I will unscrew all the screws as well as disconnect all the connectors holding the logic board in place. Now I will go ahead and remove the battery. Usually this is a hard process, but thankfully all the pull tabs work as they should and it's not too difficult. Also, quick disclaimer, be very careful when using sharp tweezers like I am, as you can puncture the battery and cause a fire or explosion. Now that I removed the battery, I have access to the 5G cellular antenna. Some of the screws are tricky to remove, so it took a bit of time and patience. Here is the new OEM housing that I will be transferring all the phone's electronics into. I will start by putting back the loudspeaker. Now I will go ahead and put the logic board into the housing. And I will carefully reattach the 5G cellular antenna and put all the screws and connectors back where they came from.
Now I will put back in the Taptic engine. Then the front facing camera assembly, as well as the rear camera. Then the SIM card tray can be slipped back into place. Next, I will apply the new adhesive to the battery. Now, I will transfer the ear speaker and proximity sensor assembly from the broken display to the new one. Before I adhere the battery to the frame, I will reconnect the ear speaker and test the phone's functionality. Thankfully, the phone booted up and functioned as it should. Now I can go ahead and adhere the battery to the phone. Next, I will clean up all the old screen adhesive residue and replace the adhesive to keep the phone dust and water resistant. Now I will connect the screen and battery connectors and put all the brackets and screws back where they came from. And I will clean off any dust or fingerprints. Now we can get that crunch and put the pendulum screws back into their proper places. And we are done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider putting a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Until next time, peace.